Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Zillia and today our boy Yuriga finally said those magical words in chapter 149 of the We Never Learn manga series. Now this chapter was such a heartwarming chapter where Yuriga finally confessed his feelings and I loved the way that they did this. The build up was great, the dialogue was even better and the art style was top quality. So then, the confession. Um, the way they dealt with this was magnificent, in my personal opinion, as they used the dialogue in a way that kind of, for a split second, you kind of thought that maybe he wouldn't go through with it. Um, but you know what? He did, and I'm so glad that he did, as uh, the reaction to the love confession was just amazing. This reaction right here is what we got. It was brilliant. Seeing Uruka like this was a shock, but it shows just how much she really did love the character of Yuiga. And those tears are those of hard work, relief, and happiness. You know, the detail in this panel is absolutely breathtaking. This is a character who we know absolutely adored Yuiga from the moment that, you know, she first met him. She liked him, she had a crush on him for ages, and she just couldn't fuck up the courage to tell him. And when she finally did, she was like, I didn't need an answer. But then she really, really wanted that answer, and we saw that in the previous chapters. And to finally get this, like I said last week, when you see a man that you really like turn up, and he's all covered in mud, guts, and bruises, whatever, he's dirty, he's wet, he's ragged, it looks like he's gone through hell and back just to see you, that obviously will stir up the emotions inside you. And when she finally thought that, you know, he wasn't going to accept her feelings, because she did for a second think that he wasn't going to allow it, but then Yuiga obviously went, now I'm going to be selfish, I want to be there with you, even if I'm not going to be famous like you are, I want to be there, let me. And then that reaction after he says I love you to her, is very much justified and is realistic, which is what I also love about it. So then, the two interact together throughout this chapter, you know, they have the, uh, the cute moments together, they were actually kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie, I really did like it, and uh, we even get a bit of comedy thrown in with them actually being together. And well, honestly, it did make me laugh, as the, uh, you remember when Uruka said that kissing is like a greeting in a foreign language? I love the fact that Yuiga was just like, they were hugging each other and you just were like, by the way, that whole thing about kissing being a greeting in a foreign language, that's a load of baloney. And just Uruka's reaction to that, the expression on both characters' faces, would, is just what made me laugh. Yuiga was like, yeah, like, you know, kind of looking smug, like, not really that impressed, but also, you know, it was fine. And then Uruka just shocked and, yeah, it was, it was cool. So... We get the, we actually get a kissing scene in a manga, like, we don't normally see that. I might be wrong, but I don't think we saw that even in Nisekoi. I could be wrong though. Then again, kissing isn't really a weird thing or a foreign thing to We Never Learn. I mean, he's done it with pretty much all the characters at this point, minus Kirisu. But he's gone a bit further than that with Kirisu. Anyway, um, the girls. Let's have a look at them. This little segment with Fudo, Fumino, Rizu, and Azumi was actually a great addition to the chapter, as it shows that although they seem to have accepted the fact that Yuiga loves Uruka, they still don't 100% like the idea. Like, obviously, their feelings were genuine. And that's something that I actually liked to see, I actually did like seeing. Um, and I think even Azumi even states, look, if you upset him, I'm going to steal him from you. Which... Come on, we know that Azumi is going to steal him next, so let that happen. We got another chapter to go. Nah, I'm joking. Anyway, we see the fact that, you know, these characters, they wish that they were the ones that Yuiga picked. But at the same time, they're happy for both of them. And, you know, obviously they are, because they helped them. Yuiga has helped them so much. Uruka has been a great friend to them. So, you know, it's only 
it's only logical that they would react this way. And uh, it's kind of more of a shock for me to see Rizu crying like this because Rizu's character has developed a lot and it has changed over the chapters um, and the course of this series. But she is actually the one that I'm more surprised at seeing having tears roll down her face. Now, this is obviously a cover up because they're all talking about a graduation and they're crying because they're graduating. Well, that's what the audience thinks, but we know different. Now, seeing these characters like this with tears on their face was actually a bit saddening. And I extremely, extremely like the Kirisu and Azumi moment. Kirisu actually comforts um, Azumi in this chapter. And that, for me, was really sweet. And again, it shows Azumi's feelings, which we don't normally see. And it shows Kirisu's development, which, earlier Kirisu, would never have done anything like that. Obviously, she wouldn't even let Yurika go. She would just, like, drag him by the ears back to school. But Azumi does raise a good point in the chapter. How is she going to explain that her boyfriend ran off with another girl to her father? Is she just going to be like... Oh, by the way, Koa has, like, this new girlfriend now, and, uh, you know, I have a job. Is she just gonna, like, double whammy, like, both things at him, like, right off the bat? Or will she just, like, tell him the truth and say, look, we lied, we played along so I could study, so I could work to earn enough for studying, and, you know, sorry. <sighs> but to be honest, it's not really... Uh, either way, it's not really that important, but the one thing I do want to see is I want to see her father's reaction. I want to see whether her father, like, comforts her or, like, you know, um, actually picks up on the signals. Because obviously Azami's going to be very distorted and kind of downhearted and upset. So maybe he'll, he won't freak out. Or maybe you just see him kind of be happy, give her a hug, say, there, there, my child. And then you see, like, next panel, he walks over to the cupboard, picks out a, a pitchfork, and goes, right, we're going on a manhunt. And, uh, I don't know, it's not important, we probably won't see it, but it's just something I really, really would like to see. Now, as a final note for this review, uh, let's talk about the ending quote. So, the ending quote, to me, I actually really, really liked. The way they faded out this chapter was, it was great. So, they say that, you know, they've got Yuiga and Uruka together. And they go, from now on, I'll just have to keep learning step by step. Even when we take the longest route possible. And make a total mess of things. Because when it comes to love, we never learn. Now, the reason as to why I like that so much is real simple. Uh, I like that because basically, um, they added the title into it. Like, obviously, we never learn, kind of, we think, for me, personally, before this chapter, I thought that the title was, like, you know, it's like a bit of a gimmick. You know, the Rizu and Furuhashi, um, Azumi, Kirisu, you know, they're always learning, and they're always, like, trying new things, but they're always failing, so it's like, we never learn. Oops. But actually, they kind of swapped that around by calling it, uh, when it comes to love, we never learn. And, yes, okay, it's a romance comedy manga but that it kind of shocked me a little bit and it was kind of threw me off threw me for a loop if i have to be perfectly honest with you because i wasn't expecting it but at the same time mixing the title into the script of any series always is a fun time for me and i really did like that little addition now then comparing this to the anime well there's no comparison really the manga does it far better in every aspect from storytelling emotion and facial expressions and body language, and we actually have an answer in the manga. Because, obviously, if you watch anime, you'll know that they did a horrible job of making you, you, like, go, well, make your own conclusions, you know? You should be smart enough. And that was bull. Honestly, let's be, let's be realistic. The ending to We Never Learn anime series was absolutely atrocious, and it should probably be wiped off the face of the planet. Much like how the Twin Star Exorcist manga is far superior than the Twin Star Exorcist anime, to where most people are like, Twin Star Exorcist doesn't have an anime, what are you on about? This manga chapter does the same thing. It makes it so that the manga is in leagues of its own when comparing it to the anime counterpart. 
And honestly, I would sit down and read the entirety of the manga again before I go back and watch the whole of the anime series again. Like, that's just how, not really biased I am, but that's just how much better I find the manga in all those aspects. All in all, a fabulous uh, way to kind of wrap up this story almost. We have got one more chapter left, so I'm really hoping to see, like, the aftermath, or maybe we'll have a time skip and see Uigura and Uruka together. That might be pretty cool. Um, or we might just see, like, a, fa like a, not a family reunion, but, like, a friendship reunion where everyone, like, meets up. And I, 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 I would like that. Honestly, I would like a reunion where all the girls meet up together. However, I don't want them to be, like, rubbing it in their faces. Like, I don't want to sit there and read a chapter where, like, they meet up with Uruka, they meet up with Fumino, Rizu, Azumi, maybe Kirisu's, like, sat, like, in disguise, and Yuiga and uh, Uruka all, 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 all over each other, like, actually rubbing it in their, the other girls' faces. That'd be disrespectful. But, um, you know, maybe we'll see an interaction between everybody. Maybe we'll see, like, the conclusion, like, in its entirety. I'm interested to find out what's going to happen. If you have any guesses as to what's going to happen, put them down in the comment section below, and let's start discussion on that topic. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below down about this chapter. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think? Um, and subscribe to the channel for more anime content as I'll be seeing you all in a chapter 150 review. Bye! I don't really know how